Getting your child evaluated for supports at school is a process. And you and your child have legal rights every step of the way. Evaluations for special education and related services are covered under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA. There are 11 important legal rights that I want you to remember if you're considering having your child evaluated. Number one, the right to request an evaluation. You can request an evaluation at any time. Your child's teacher or other school personnel can also recommend that your child be evaluated for services. You have the right to receive written notice of the school's decision. Your child's school has to explain why it denied or accepted your request and what other options it considered. This is called prior written notice. It also has to tell you how to find more information about IDEA and the evaluation process. You have the right to give or refuse consent. In most cases, the school can't do an evaluation without your consent. You must be fully informed, understand the process, and agree to it in writing. This is known as informed consent. At any time, you can change your mind and withdraw your consent. You have the right to a prompt evaluation. Once the school agrees to evaluate your child, IDEA requires, requires that they do it within 60 calendar days. But if your state law has different time frame, that's the one that's used. You have the right to a thorough evaluation. It's not enough for the school to use one test or measure, the, or measure to determine if your child has a learning disability. It must include a variety of tests and data collected from you and their teachers. The goal is to get a full picture of their functional, developmental, and academic abilities. You have the right to be free of discrimination. An evaluation can't discriminate against the child based on their race, culture, or language. Tests and procedures must be done in a child's native language, unless it clearly is impossible to do, to do so. Um, and this could be a foreign language, sign language, braille, or a communication technology. You have a right to be a member of the team. Parents are members of the Individualized Education Program team. You know your child the best, your input is valuable, and it is needed in the evaluation process. The team must also include a general education teacher and a specialist qualified to do the testing for the evaluation. You're entitled to a copy of the evaluation report and supporting documents at no cost. You have the right to special education services. There are 13 disabilities listed in IDEA. I made a video about that. And if your child has one or more of these disabilities and needs special education and related services, the school must provide those services. You have the right to appeal decisions. If your child's school won't do an evaluation, you can file a due process or a state complaint to try to get one. If you disagree with the results of the evaluation, you can use due process to try to make the school redo some or all of it. You have the right to an independent educational evaluation. If you disagree with the results of the school's evaluation, you're entitled to get an independent education evaluation, an IEE. This is done by an outside specialist, but you can request that the school pay for it. If the school feels that an IEE isn't needed, it can start a due process hearing to show why. You can also pay for an IEE on your own, but it can be costly. You have the right to a re-evaluation. If your child already receives special education services, the school typically must reevaluate that, reevaluate, uh, reevaluate them. Y'all, I can't talk. Reevaluate them at least once every three years. You can request a reevaluation more often, but not more than once a year. Um, the school must have your consent to do new testing, uh, but not to review existing data that exists, or not to review existing data on your child. Um, so. Understanding your rights in the evaluation process will increase your chances um, or may increase your chances for getting services for your child. Um, and so I talk more about IDEA. Um, this is an entire um, portion of the workshop dedicated to the evaluation process. So knowing the necessary steps to take to securing services for your child is very important. But even more important is knowing your rights. All right, I'll see y'all in a second.